So I made this video almost about 11 months ago and you would think after that much time and that many people seeing these type of videos, you'd expect the number of these videos being created to dial down, especially on TikTok with people faking disorders and whatever whatnot. No, really, nigga. it actually seemed to be the opposite. It seems as if these videos have been coming in super large waves and it's just taken over. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I've realized though is a lot of people are aware in the comment section. And the thing that sucks is it's gonna get to a point where even if you actually do have a disability or a disorder, people are just gonna think you're faking it because of these people that are ruining it for those who actually do have these disorders or disabilities. It's like you're playing Call of Duty zombies and you get that last zombie that's crawling. You expect to kill that zombie and game's over. No, it's another wave of zombies coming right after you kill that last zombie. You have about 10 seconds just to get ready to go for the next thing. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about people who are faking disorders once again. I mean, I don't know how many times we're going to have to do this. This is a thing that exists and it needs to be talked about and we need to spread awareness on it. So that's what I'm here for. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you have not already, and check out any of my other channels. I have a shorts channel, I have a second channel where I talk about more like oriented Gen Z problems and such. So a lot of the disabilities and disorders that people like to claim are things such as DID, Tourette's, ADHD, you know, a lot of stuff that can't necessarily be proved unless you have, you know, I guess some medical records or not. And yeah, sure, you can't really check everybody's medical records to really tell if they're lying or not, but there are a lot of them that really exaggerate a lot of these stuff. Hi, I'm funny. Hey, uh, oh, what the hell? Uh, um, hi, I'm uh, 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 Oliver. Hey, everybody, I'm Ben. Hey, I'm elegant. Wow. Mm. Sorry. Hi, my. Yo, you're trying to say the N word. Hold on. Why do you have a black screen right there and you stuck on that? Listen, I want to know. Let you let me know in the comments, guys. If a person has a altar that they identify as black, do you think that that altar can say the N word and their physical person is you know a person that's white? I want to know what you think. But if you're on TikTok and you have all these altars that uh, happen to come out for your single TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Just because you have on a different voice and you're doing all these accents and you're you're stuttering. One of them I even even believe had Tourette's. How, how, how is all of this possible? And they go on TikTok and they post these things as if no one's going to call you out on it. Of course someone's going to call you out on it. First of all, having the ID comes from like things of trauma, right? This is supposed to be a way from you that your brain helps you disconnect from whatever the situation may be to protect you from that. How in the hell is this protecting you from anything? You're sitting on TikTok doing, having your little whatever and having all these altar come out for the sake of entertainment for other people to sit there and watch. That's something I never understood. Before we continue today's video, shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Many websites or apps are blocked or restricted depending on where you are in the world. Certain countries even censor the internet and don't let you access all websites freely. Think of a YouTube video you weren't able to watch, a website you couldn't visit, a sports match that you weren't able to stream. ExpressVPN lets you change your online location. They have 94 countries you can choose to appear from, allowing you to access content from sites and services only available in the those countries. What I personally use ExpressVPN for is to get unbanned on Omegle. It works for Netflix too. There's tons of shows in other countries. Like Rick and Morty in Germany or Cowboy Bebop in Japan. You can use so much more out of Netflix simply by switching your country using ExpressVPN. And the best thing about all of this is that ExpressVPN is super easy to use, super fast, which means no lagging, and they have a 24-7 support chat. That means you can get help whenever you need. Here's how I use ExpressVPN to unban myself on Omegle. As you can see, Omegle is currently telling me that I'm bad. All you gotta do is go back, make sure you open up the ExpressVPN app, choose a location, connect to the VPN, it takes literally a second, connect it, refresh, and enter the site. And we're back on like nothing happened. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description, expressvpn.com slash Don Steven. It was gay. Why should I have to apologize? I saw gay, so I said gay. That ain't bullying, that's an astute observation research about a disorder that means you have the disorder all of a sudden oh well, i search up on a daily how to get rich and now i have disability to get huh? boy maybe that was a sense of joke i don't really know whatever but that's how literally how a lot of these things are 
okay? There was this bunch of TikToks I see all the time. If you sneeze, you have ADHD. You know how many people in the world sneeze? If you breathe air, guess what, buddy? You now suffer from dementia. You've pooped before? You're schizophrenic. Please don't tell me you've ever drank water in your life. Do you have water in your body? Well, guess what, buddy? Guess what? You're now a nip. Okay, that's not what the point is. But that's literally how people take it nowadays, man. Anything, any little symptom that they may have, they won't go for medical treatment or they won't go for a medical examination. I read this about this. I now have this. That's literally how it works now. And a lot of this is focused on Gen Z stuff. There are still some millennials that do the same thing as well. And TikTok as a platform has literally messed up so many people's minds that there are groups that will literally accept you for anything. And I mean anything. Essentially, if you want to do something, there's going to be an audience out there who is going to say, hey, I support you. Whether it is crazy, delusional, whatever you want to call it, there's people out there on TikTok that will say, OMG, you go, girl. You go, sis. You do your thing. You guys are feeding into the delusion that these people are, are suffering from. Autistically eating mini pretzels. How do you autistically eat food? That's what I want to know. How do you autistically eat food? What does that even mean? If you have any of those signs, sorry to break it to you, you might have all. It's just true, you know? You That one song you like so much that you keep listening to, you, that's a sign, that's a sign. I literally passed out, what the fuck? What is that? You happen to pass out as soon as the song started playing and the, the TikTok started going right. But you didn't pass out the five, 10 minutes prior to that when you were off camera. Of course, you had to do it while it was on camera. So you to get your little views and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, No, let me tell you guys something too. A lot of this stuff will ruin your lives in the future if you do not know that, okay? <laughs> this is a digital footprint that you are leaving on the internet. Okay, I understand you're young and you wanna be cool and you wanna whatever. This is going to come back and bite you in the butt years to come when you're looking for that job, when you're looking for that school that you want to get accepted to, okay? And I know a lot of you guys don't even have your life set up already because it will come and it will hit you. Do not make permanent damage onto yourself, onto your image that will ruin you in the future. It is not worth it. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts. These sizes are not facts. If you're craving attention, there are many other things you can do that are more safe and more friendly and not ruining the image of people who actually have disorders and disabilities. Hi, this is me. Uh, before I see Black Panther Wakanda forever, I'm autistic. The MCU is my special interest. Um, I was um so the the costume design, designer said that it would be it would probably be more um b better for um the audience to wear white because then they would feel more included in certain scenes. But the thing is, well, I didn't. <laughs> I'm white. I don't want to show up to a Black Panther movie in all white as a white person i don't know that just feels wrong and so i'm wearing my grace vanderbilt sweatshirt because it's cold and i'm a texan i can't do colds um i guess i will update when i'll just do it i, I i'll do it after i've watched for you guys that didn't understand, essentially, I'm a white person and um, I'm gonna go see a black movie and um, um, I don't wanna accidentally be racist, so I don't think I should wear anything that's white. And when the f does clothing you wear matter to a movie? You're going to go see the movie. Now, obviously, you're not going in the dashiki or whatever. I right, cool, but like, I'm going to go see the Black Panther, so I don't want to wear white clothing. What are you talking about? How does that make any sense? Listen, good for anybody out there. You cannot watch Black Panther on Labor Day. You can't. Why? Because that white, all white outfit you got on, that is racist if you wear it to the movie. And you over there jumping and all excited. Why she getting so jumpy? Oh my gosh, black people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, black people. Oh my gosh, black people. Black people, black people. Black people. Man. This shit is, is, is ridiculous. <laughs> this is dumb. This is dis dissociative identity disorder. And I've already jotted that down as one of the presenting complaints. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of not actually getting a diagnosis, but 
I guess off I would the still record, say like what we said last time, uh -huh. that your umbrella diagnosis would one really be one of borderline personality disorder, uh -huh. and that all of these other symptoms that you're experiencing uh -huh. are as a result of that borderline personality disorder, including being part of a system. Yeah. So you would not consider it to be dissociative identity disorder, but you would consider it to be virtually all of the symptoms of dissociative identity disorder under the umbrella of BPD. Correct. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Wild, but sure, <laughs> go off, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good. Thanks yeah. for coming. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Essentially what he was telling her is, bitch, you don't got the ID. And she obviously didn't like the response, but that's what the case was. And I'm glad, you know, these medical people are not feeding into this shit. They're not feeding into it as well. If the person doesn't have this, do not diagnose the person with this. It's that simple. I'm not sure how often I'm actually going to be on here. But seeing as I was created due to things that have happened on this app, I figured I should introduce myself at least. My name is Drexel. <clears throat> I'm a trauma holder and persecutor in a DID system. My pronouns are he, him. I'm somewhere between 17 and 21. But that doesn't really matter. I'm human, but I do have magic in her world. I do have some pseudo memories of growing up, um, one of which being struck by lightning. Oh, what the hell? A child. That event is actually what gave me magic, and because of it, I do have a permanent Lichtenberg figure that kind of goes across my face like this, and down and across my shoulder and down my arm. Typically, Lichtenberg figures don't stay on human skin more than 24 to 48 hours, but mine is. Yo, this motherfucker thinks she Kratos. Okay, first of all, <laughs> this weak ass feel to you. What the hell? So you see that shit? <laughs> This feels too weak as shit. But what? This is the daughter of Thor or, 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 or somebody. I don't I don't really understand. Do you understand? And, and what did she say in the beginning over here? But seeing as I was created due to things that have happened on this app. You've seen other people do their stuff on this app. You've seen their stuff do number. You've seen whatever little community they've grown from faking these type of things. And now you've done it yourself. You've took that influence on yourself to go and do what they're doing. And now you're on the internet saying some delusional ass shit. I just want you guys, listen, I just want you guys to, you understand, look, look, me and you, you understand that this is crazy stuff, right? Like you understand that, like no jokes, no anything aside, you understand how crazy and delusional this person looks right here they have a they were struck by lightning and now they have a permanent lightning mark on their face going down their arm to shoulder stop it get some help i'm going to start off by saying whatever this person has this person does indeed have it. i mean who, who's going to argue with that Let's be honest. This is the actual definition of a they them because I I I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. All right. This is the reason why they have litter boxes at high school bathrooms now. This is exactly why. 